Okay, and then we can get another crew on a roof. I want you guys to hand me up these two panels. Okay. The community here is like no other. I work with a lot of people, a lot of peers, a lot of my elders. I've heard it said many times, you know, that uh, pe people would do anything for this island. If they had to put their lives on the line, they, they would. Molokai Electric back in the oh. 40s in the middle of town. Oh my gosh. My grandfather moved to Molokai in 1932 at the age of 18 specifically to work for Molokai Electric to expand the energy that they had here on Molokai. And my father, who followed in his footsteps, he took over at Molokai Electric. He was looking at energy that's already in our environment that doesn't have to be shipped from around the world basically to make energy more affordable for people here on Molokai. It wasn't appreciated by uh, the energy sector at the time. You were like 30 years ahead of your time, you know what I mean? It, or 40 years ahead of your time, you it, know? I can tell you something. It's not good to be ahead of your time. <laughs> it was not pleasant. You know, I, I really never thought that I would be working in energy. Um, so for, for it to come full circle like this and for it to be meaningful and yeah, it, well, I it's think important that, for that me. Your basic nature is that you do good work. You're very careful and then you're willing to learn. These are all uh, things that your grandpa had. The work that I do is a conduit for the work that started before me, um, and whether that was my grandfather's or father's work. I'm doing the same thing as everyone else here in this community, and that is working our butts off for the next generations, assuring our elders that created the space here for us in this beautiful place that we live, ensuring that their legacy continues on.